Hi guys, it's Harley from All Parts. Listen, I'm been answering the phone. Phone's been outrageous today, which is a good thing. Um, I want to explain. Um, person wanted a pump. Bought a pump from Home Depot, and he thought it was a piece of crap until I talked to him. Found out I used to work for Home Depot. Um, five years in Home Depot. Two stores in Long Island. One store in Virginia and Scottsdale, Arizona. That was the best store yet, Scottsdale, Arizona. Opened that store up when uh, Scottsdale didn't exist. Marcus Luzzi, um, excellent store manager. I wish he was around. Marcus, if you ever hear from me, make sure you email me. Huh? Let me know how you're doing. All those guys in um, Arizona, we had fun there. It was definitely um definitely a fun store. But anyway, um I wanted to explain a little bit and people get confused. These they see these curves on pumps. You have this thing as static curves, fan curves. Um basically what it, it means to curve means is what's my back pressure? How much do I have to push you to get you pushed going? Same as a, if I'm sure if you push the car, okay? It takes a lot of force to push a car. So this is going to be one example. Excuse me, itchy nose. You know, I'm going to have a fight with somebody. This is my third day with itchy noses, all right? But anyway, this is a good example of a pump curve. Instead of having the chart here, 1 through 45 feet, 1 being down here, and 45 feet, and then um, 8 to 82, and the curve going, you know, wherever it wants to curve, curve up, and then curve down. They do it this way, which is very good. Now, keep in mind, from here, from the end that it pumps, one foot straight up, okay, it's capable of 82 gallons a minute. Now, here is the catcher though. 82 gallons a minute. Now, a garden hose is not capable of 82 gallons a minute. 82 gallons a minute, I would say... Well, if you had schedule 40 inch and a half, uh, I don't think you get 82 gallons. Maybe that would be pushing it. So that would be equal to like a two inch pipe. You get 82 gallons a minute. Put a garden hose to it, you may see 15 or 20. May. You may. So when you see these things, it depends what you attach these to. Okay? You can't expect 82 gallons a minute, and it, it comes with an adapter for a hose. That's where they make their mistakes, okay? And these people screw on these hoses, and they want to drain their pool, and they call me up and saw, Harvey, I bought this piece of crap pump, and I'm still not pumping out my pool. It's been five days, and it's only quarter way down. Well, they're connected to a regular garden hose. So, you know, I had one customer didn't want to flood out his yard, so he put he bought this pump or similar to the pump, and he took the garden hose, wrapped it over a two-story house and over and down, and the dribble was coming coming out. So on its best day, see so let's see a two-story house. 12, 24, then depending on the peak, 24, say 35 feet up in the air. Yeah, 30, 35 feet. 29 gallons a minute. All right. Is a regular garden hose equal to 29 gallons a minute? I never saw a garden hose capable of 29 gallons a minute. Um, not the cheap ones. Okay. So maybe if you had um, a garden hose that was 
equal to an inch diameter or inch and a quarter diameter inside, inside diameter, possibly. And the other thing is people get confused that, as I see it all the time, I know I'm rambling because I wanted to talk about this. It's very important. It starts at the pump, okay? This screens and everything has it. Fans have it. Box fans. Everything have pumps. Have all these curves. They mean something, okay? Basically is you got a force pushing and you got a force pushing. What is it going to take to push and override me pushing against you, okay? How much power is it going to take? So that's why you drop down quite a bit. But we went from straight up from this uh, this pump, which is pretty good, 45 feet. That's pretty good. That's eight gallons a minute. That's pretty good. I mean, that, that's really pretty good. All right. So anyway. I know I'm running on a tangent, but everybody gets confused. Every pump you buy, okay, every pump you go buy, every time you add a foot, you lose pumping water going out, okay? Um, I'm, not, I'm not saying most pumps. There's some very high commercial pumps that will continuously ramp up to continuously pump say if I, I did a lot of commercial and they wanted they didn't care if they were 20 feet below or 60 feet they wanted to pump 150 gallons of water or sewer a minute okay depending how high or how different they needed to run their lines. So we had to put in there a very large variable speed pump. Okay? And when it was reaching too high the you know to pump it out whatever, we had to ramp up. I'm going to sneeze. Ramp up the pump, okay? The Excuse me, I'm not telling you, I'm getting ready to get a fight with somebody. So everything that you buy in Home Depot or anything else like that has these pump curves. So just be aware of it. Say if you're trying to pump out your pool cover. Ideally, you want to try to keep it as high as possible, even though you're pumping out your pool cover, okay, and you know, you want to keep your garden hose if you're doing a, you got a small pool cover, a pump, um, you're using your garden hose, you want to, you know, keep it as low as possible. You don't want to loop it over a fence. The argument's sake, in, instead of taking the time, I see all the time, instead of taking the time and putting that garden hose underneath the fence, they just take it and throw it over the fence. So instead of being, say, argument's sake, we, um, we're we um, at five foot, if we stayed below, well, we just added another five feet. So we lose seven gallons a minute throwing it over the fence. Okay? So you just got to keep aware of that. So everything has a curve. So just be careful of that when buying a pump. Be aware of, I always try to tell people, people tell me when I used to work on uh, equipment and everything, be, be aware of your environment. Be aware of where your safeties are, your disconnects, um, things like that. Be aware of your environment and you'll have a good time. All right, guys. This is Harvey from All Parts Pool and Spa, just trying to teach you a little bit about discharge, head and feet, okay? Everything has it. Fans, pool pumps, all has it. All right, guys, I hopefully that was a little tip. Thanks.